Hello and welcome back to the Total Mix FX Beginner's Guide. This time we talk about trim gains in Total Mix FX. Before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and that you also click on the notifications button to get all the updates from this channel. Let's suppose that you have an instrument in Total Mix FX that you send out to multiple hardware outputs at the same time. But now, for some reason, you want to change the overall volume for this particular instrument. One way to do this is to go to each of the submixes and change the volume manually. A way more efficient way is to use Total Mix Effects unique trim gain functionality. In this session, I send out the audio signal from my AS1 synthesizer to three separate stereo hardware outputs in the submix mode. With trim activated, you can think of this channel fader now as a master gain or master trim fader. All volume changes for each submix are now in relation to this channel fader. So instead of touching three faders, I just have to move one fader to change the volume for each output. The arrows next to the channel fader show the volume amount that is sent to each of the submixes, whereas the white arrow indicates the currently selected submix. As you can see, the volume changes are not linear but rather logarithmic. So we get very smooth volume transitions on each output. If we want to exclude a submix from the trim fader, we can do this by going to the channel setting on the output and then select the no trim option. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about Total Mix FX, about ARMY audio products in general, please write us a comment in the comment section below this video. See you next time on the ARMY audio channel.